And now for another whirlwind tour of some powerful BPM SOA case study results, let's turn to Dan Tortorici, Director of Product Marketing for Oracle's BPM Solutions. Dan, hello. Hi, how are you? Great. Dan is going to share with us how customers are marrying BPM and enterprise architecture technologies and tools to reap some very powerful results for their business. So fasten your seatbelts and you'll learn how energy, telecom, government, and some other sectors are improving cash management, electronic procurement, cutting their costs, reducing delays, and even optimizing their online presence. Dan. Thanks. So, yeah, I'd like to talk about some of the success our customers have found with Oracle BPM solutions. And just for clarity, this basically involves a number of BPM products. At the top, we've got basically Oracle BPM Suite, which is a composite product that deals effectively with both human and system-centric BPM. This is also where the BEA-acquired BPM technology has been brought together. We also have, as another product in this space, Oracle BPA Suite, which is for folks who are really strong in the methodology-driven process design focus. And then lastly, Oracle SOA Suite, which with the inclusion of BPEL PM also provides some basic capabilities in business process management. So the first customer we'll take a look at here is a government customer. And for them, they were addressing essentially a tactical need that revolved around a seasonal process. And that seasonal process for them basically was to work through the process of performance appraisals for their employees. And like many sort of tactical issues, it's something that comes around every now and then. And yet, when it does come around, it can be quite a big process. So for them, this was something that involved quite a number of people and was certainly a process that required a greater efficiency as an end result and the ability to do more basically in less time. So using Oracle BPF technologies, they were able to automate this performance appraisal process. They did it in less than 60 days, which is great considering the tactical focus that this provided. And they were able to reduce their audit process from two to three weeks to only one or two days. So uh, a great example, basically, I think, of automating a tactical process with great impact and doing it in a pretty short time. Next, I'd like to take a look at a manufacturing company. And this manufacturing company had challenges with a particular inefficient process that was around warranty management. Right? This was something basically that for them was uh, error prone, too slow, and basically just took too much time and too much effort. So again, using this time the BPEL and SOA suite capabilities for process and SOA, they were able to implement basically the management of this process, which included integration with Oracle eBusiness Suite in a period of about three months. And with this, they were able to improve online service as well. Now, what's nice about this is, again, something that was tactical. It was certainly something that needed to be made more efficient, yet this had great impact for them with reduction of manual errors, with a savings of over $2 million annually and a reduction, basically, in required labor of three FTEs associated with that particular process. So they're able to reassign them to other parts of the organization. So inefficient processes, they may be small. They may be focused on a particular area. They may be tactical urgencies that need to be addressed. But, boy, can they pay back. And this manufacturer is a good example of that. Okay. So let's take a look uh, next at an energy company. And this is, uh, again, I think another great example of how inefficiency can be addressed with great payback and also with minimal effort. So here's an energy company that certainly through mergers, acquisitions, and things like that accumulated a number of different systems. And so for them, accounts payable was a particular issue dealing with their vendors. So what they were able to do using Oracle's BPM technologies was to implement an electronic approval process, basically EAP, to streamline their interactions and approval process. This was implemented in seven months and included integration with SAP as well as FileNet. And for them, led to a great turnaround in terms of accuracy, consistency, and a reduction in cost per transaction of about 80%, which is huge. 
that also enable them to realize an ROI of 300% over two years. So a great example of where the promise of BPM, certainly around a specific aspect of a process. Here, it's accounts payable. They were able to really achieve some great results. Next on our list here, we've got basically a telecom customer who was more focused on the larger strategic goals, and for them was about customer-centric transformation. The formation of the company, it basically was created by privatization. So this was a merger of 16 companies from uh, across the country, basically. So clearly lots of inefficiency, point-to-point integrations, multiple systems, et cetera. So using BPM as part of an SOA transformation, they basically were able to design this in a much more customer-centric way, resulting in 15% reduction in their overall effort to develop services, certainly from the SOA side, and a 20% reduction in time to market that was certainly facilitated by the BPM agility that was offered there. So here we've moved basically from tactical to strategic results. I have another example here uh, in the finance industry. And for these folks, clearly the loan approval process is critical to them. For them, automating this and making it simpler was a big win. So doing so, they implemented a uh, paperless process that resulted in 13% improvement in same-day turnaround and created a much better organizational process for handling loan approvals. One last example I'd like to talk about is a business transformation by Cameco Insurance. And with them, basically, they wanted to better harness the online channel. They wanted to more efficiently deal with their processes. And for them, it had great results. Basically, using Oracle BPM technologies, they were able to orchestrate their processes both human and system, bring them all together. They're also using the social BPM aspects with web center interaction, and it enabled them to expand to an online e-commerce channel. I think the most outstanding result that occurred from this was that it enabled Cameco to transform their business from one that was looking at IT as a standard sort of maintenance, new application perspective, to a business process focus. And uh, this is something that we've seen a number of times when companies basically transform to a process-centric point of view. It enables them to be much more resilient, have better connections to business, and be much more efficient and strategic all the way around. So chemical insurance, a great example of a strategic transformation. Excellent, Dan. A terrific look at many different sectors. Just one question uh, before we leave you. One of the themes of this event is to get a sense of how BPM technologies and professionals and enterprise architects can work better together to affect these powerful business results without taking months and months and maybe even a year. Is there any common theme in your examples that help underscore either as far as uh, Oracle's automation or its training that seem to be very powerful in terms of delivering these benefits? Yes, yeah, great question. Well, I, I think in terms of looking at the spread in terms of you know potential timelines from a few months to forever, one of the things that's key is that the process or the problem, if you will, is something that the business recognizes, right? Because if it's causing business pain, there's focus, there's commitment to want to change it. Given that, it's essentially on the process side about picking the right process. And if you pick the right process and then target your SOA investment at basically what that particular solution needs, what we've seen is you can arrive at a solution in record time that basically not only solves that problem but provides the foundation for selling the benefits of both BPM and SOA in the future, and certainly that helps in acquiring additional funding. Excellent, Dan. So we'll be sure to tune into your solo session that will go into much more detail about how you align the BPM and the architect professionals later today. Thanks. My pleasure.